you know, besides the normal tools that you have in your box, your end wrenches and your ratchets and stuff like that that you're going to use to get the bumpers and lamps off the car, there are some specialty tools that are going to make panel replacement a lot easier. And my first go-to tool has always been an air chisel. Now this takes a little bit of time to get used to using it. And my first recommendation is to buy a really good air chisel. Second is, you'll notice the way that I've sharpened the tip on this chisel right here. And when I get to using it, I'll explain it away in a way that makes sense to you. that will make it easier for you to use it. I have my air grinders. This is a 3 16 rock right here. We'll use this to gouge some welds with. Again, I'll show you all the tips when I do it. I just want to make you aware that you're going to need some tools like this. This is a nice thin blade, goes in either one, and allow me to cut the metal. A drill, there's different bits to use for spot weld removal. We will use it a little bit. Normally, I just use the air chisel, but the drill works like a top also. When the car comes apart, it will have some damage on the flanges, so a hammer and a dolly. That'll allow us to line it back up because the panels have to fit extremely tight to weld right. Eye protection is a must. Dusk mask when you're grinding. Gloves, keep those, keep those hands pretty. And ear protection is a must. You can use earplugs or muffs, but you have to have ear protection. That basically covers what we're going to use in specialty tools.